Hey YouTube, so on Wednesday, this or last week, I don't know when this video is coming up, I was given my second opinion for surgery, which means that I am being referred for gender reassignment surgery, which for anyone who knows anything about trans people is a pretty big deal. Uh, basically what this video is, is me just giving you some, a bit of an update in the transition wise, I've been on hormones for 379 days now because I've been keeping track of it. A few weeks ago, I just asked a few people on Facebook and Twitter to give me some questions if I was gonna talk about a trans topic. So this is a trans topic video, um, trans related. I might call it trans talk or something like that. Maybe that's a good sort of series idea. I'll go with that. Someone has requested my personal story would be good if there was a defining moment of when and where. In my gender history, something I mentioned was that something that plainly sticks out for a start is I was at school and I was wearing trousers or shorts or I can't remember which and like I was just there like why aren't I wearing what she's wearing like I, I want to wear that that's like every other girl in this class is wearing it why aren't I wearing it thanks a lot car uh, another defining moment was I was at my nana's house and I was um <laughs> It was the first time I got caught dressed up. I'd done it many times and hadn't been caught, but then I did it. I was dressed up in her clothes and I got caught. I remember we came home and everyone was sat at the table talking about it. And I came downstairs and my dad was just like, so do you want to be a girl or something? And I was just like, no, why would I, no, why would I want to do that? Because uh, yeah, it was seen as being weird. Another thing that someone asked me about was how I coped with the waiting times. I got quite lucky because before being referred to the gender clinic, I went to this place called CAMS. I can't remember what it actually stands for. It's a mental health service and I would have been over 18 by the time that my next appointment would have come around, which means that I'm no good for them and they're no good for me. So they rushed forwards my um, referral to the gender identity clinic, which was very lucky for me. But for those of you who are still waiting, hang in there, you'll get there eventually. Uh, someone else has asked, has self-appreciation and self-confidence been an issue in the past? Yes, it has. I was prepared to commit suicide. I was following it through. And then uh, I would call it fortuitous circumstances, for me at least, um, prevented me from doing it. And I'm here today, about five years on. So don't do it. So that's just my quick update on my transition so far. The check out all the social media links in the description and follow me on there. So yeah, I hope to see you next time. Adios. Bye.